Yo, yo, what's up everybody? It's Mike, your boy here, coming at you with a video. Today's video, we're going to be taking a drive over this morning to the Nike missile site in Connecticut. Back in the day, back in the day, it was designed to protect the United States from Russia. The installations were installed and constructed in two parts. Control and radar site and also the launch site was the second part. HA-26 launch site is located in Glastonbury, Connecticut, while the control and radar site is in Portland, Connecticut, right up the street, pretty much. So uh, I'm going to try to check out both places for you guys, both locations in the same vicinity. Um, in any case, about to hop in the car. It's uh, early in the morning. It's probably like 5, 5.30, and uh, really didn't get much sleep last night, but I figure I'm going to get a good video for y'all, and I uh, hope you enjoy what's to come. So let's get it. Oh yeah, and just to throw it out there, the HA-26 site was in operation from 1956 until 1963. It housed Ajax missiles. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there for y'all. Now let's get it. Alright everyone, so I'm on my way to the Nike missile site in Connecticut right now. I just left a few minutes ago from my house. Stopped at Dunkin' Donuts real quick, grabbed a coffee, you know what time it is. It's raining outside right now. It's supposed to rain all day today, so bear with me, but we're still going to get a great video today. Don't worry about that. But I just wanted to touch upon the fact that the launch site housed a guard station, barracks, and a missile battery area, and a medical office as well on the, uh, the location of the property. Now, the control site housed guard stations, barracks, and a large metal tank suspected to hold water. So, yeah. Pretty much all that remains on both sites today are foundations, concrete stairs, floor tiles, hatchways that are leading underground, overall just scraps of metal equipment. But I've never been there and uh, I hear mixed theories and mixed reviews rather about the place and the condition of the place itself. So hopefully it's not too distorted and uh, I can get something good on footage for y'all. Um, but like I said, it's a mystery to me until I get there to see the place firsthand. So I don't know what it's going to be like in the condition of the place. All that being said, though, um, I'm on my way there right now, and uh, I'll catch back up with you guys in a few. I'm back at you guys right now. I just want to throw one more thing out there, and that is that based off some videos that I found on the internet and on YouTube, um, relatively speaking, I think there is one bunker or barrack that's still open, an underground part of the place that is still accessible, that hasn't been filled in or hasn't been uh, covered up or sealed off. So hopefully I can find it. It looked like in the videos that it was pretty rustic and pretty like it blended in put it this way it blended in with the natural environment pretty well so it's going to be hard to find but uh, hopefully i can keep my uh my eyes out for that and find the entrance to one of the tunnel systems underground so we're going to see when we get there if we can find it and find other things as well so let's uh let's see what we got here i'll, I'll catch back up with you guys uh when i'm a little bit closer to the location peace such a beautiful day outside isn't it not. So we're about 10 minutes away right now, ladies and gentlemen. So when I get there, I'll catch back up with y'all. So uh, hang tight. All right, everyone. So I'm about a mile and a half up the road from the place. Um, it's kind of tricky to see when you're on Google Maps where it's actually located because it's situated inside of a forest, inside of a bunch of thick woods. So um, I'm going to have to park on the side of the road, I'm assuming, and uh, walk on foot from there to find the actual property and location of the missile site itself. Um, but we're almost there, like I said, so uh, we're about to get this and see what we can find. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it goes well. I think it will. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So I'm actually backing up right now because uh, if you can see in the mirror right here, there's a yellow fence. And online I read that the yellow fence is the entrance to the launch site and there's another yellow fence at the control site. So I'm gonna drive down this road. I think I see like a vacant building or an abandoned building.
Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, this might just be a development. All right, no worries, no worries. I'm gonna turn around, head back down where the GPS wanted me to go originally. I think this would lead me to the control site if I continue down this road. Um, it would be one of two ways to get to the control site, but um, I'm not exactly sure. So uh, we're gonna play it by ear this whole way through and uh, yeah, let's see if we can find the place. Look at that, pavement ends. So I don't know if there's about to be a dirt road ahead of me or what, but the pavement definitely does end, it says. So here we go, is what it is, let's get it. Yeah, the pavement definitely did end. I don't know if you can tell how bumpy this ride is right now, but there's pothole after pothole after pothole. So that's kind of beat. But we're about to pull up to where the GPS says the place is, and then the rest is on foot. Looks like there's a path right there that leads on foot into the woods. These roads are terrible. Hope I don't pop a tire. Or to everything. Please, Lord, be with me. <laughs> for real, for real, though. Alright, I just came up to another gate slash fence type thing right here. Not sure where that leads to. I'm assuming this is there. Okay, I see some stairs. And that was uh, on the website. Not the website. Online, I saw a video with someone walking down those stairs up there. You can't see it through the window, but um, I'm going to park up over here, I think. I'm just going to drive down just a little bit further to see where my GPS wanted me to stop the car. And then uh, if not, if it's a no-go, I'm going to come back to this spot right here. All right, y'all. So the GPS didn't bring me anywhere specific or anywhere where I could park my car and walk on foot. There's just woods on both sides of my car. So I'm backing up, turning around, and uh, going back to that area I just saw I showed you that had that gate type deal going on and uh, hopefully from there on foot we can get and find access and ways to find the location and find the actual missile site so yeah it's not that easy doing a three-point turn on a tiny tiny ass road excuse my French but it's not word everything all right so I'm pulling back up to that fence right now as you can see and uh, we're just going to play it by ear and see what we can find. Hopefully we find something worth uh, investigating and exploring. Alright, so we're here. It is raining out pretty decently right now. So uh, I'm going to take it slow. But kind of be fast and be quick at the same time so I don't get soaked. A little pipe sticking out of the ground. Could be ventilation for an underground bunker. You never know. Got my raincoat on right now, but uh, my phone doesn't have a raincoat, so I'm really kind of concerned that it's gonna get soaked. But uh, it's all good. I'll just keep wiping it down. You feel me? So let's get it. See, there's that staircase I was talking about that I saw on other videos on YouTube. Wish it wasn't raining. That would make the whole experience a lot better for me. But it, it, hey. Win some, you lose some. So we're just on foot. By we, I mean me. I'm just on foot right now. Walking through these trails. I want to go up and explore up there. I'm going to go this way to the left. See what I find down this trail right here. This trail looks like it's brought me to a dead end, unfortunately. I gotta find that bunker. I don't know, this looks like something over here, but it could just be a rock foundation, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just a rock. I thought this was like an opening to an underground bunker, but it's not. It's just a rock, like I said. Oh, well.
It's kind of slippery out right now because of the rain. So bear with me. I'm trying not to bust ass right now. Can you feel me? Oh my gosh. What am I doing? All right, guys. So now I'm back at that staircase, which is right there that I walked up. Now I'm going to go up this trail and rather than going back down the way I just came. So let's see what I find going up right now. Step by step, you know what time it is. These trails really don't seem like they lead anywhere. Really don't. Hold on, I see something. I see like a metal fence coming up up here. All right, there's an orange trail marker over there down that path, that rock path right there. But there's a like a metal fence right here of these posts. I don't know what they're for, but they're here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so on. Metal posts. And then here's that orange trail marker back here that I saw. I'll show you guys real quick. If you guys can even peep that right there. Right there. See that? Yeah, that's it. I'm going to walk up towards that orange trail marker in a second. I'm going to walk this way by these fence posts right now and see what I pass, what I go by, if anything. So let's see. It's important to watch your footing, guys, when you come on these explorations because uh, a lot of the ground can be loose in the gravel. You can slide out, you know what I'm saying? So just be careful. Always be mindful of your surroundings and what you're walking on. Where to me? So far I haven't seen any uh, artificial or man-made structures. I see something down there. Go check it out. But I really haven't seen much except this uh, uh, na a natural trail that's built into the, the mountainside. So yeah, just trying to get a lay of the land, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm doing right now. See some sort of concrete slab right here. Oh, look at this. There's something right here. Let's see what it is. Some graffiti on that concrete right there. A metal slab. What is this? No idea what this is. Hold on, there's something over here. What is it? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna shine my flashlight down the hole, see what I see. That's just clogged. All right, so that's that. Back to the trail we go. The trail continues on this way. That's the way I came from. I'm gonna continue this way for a second. It's really exciting though. There's lots of trails. I just don't know where they lead to specifically, so. Just keeping my eyes open and looking for anything that could be man-made structures and so on of that nature. So this like, there's a little hill right here. I don't know where it goes to, let's see. So now nah, it's just a little, it led me to a little parking lot type deal and a rock face wall. Other than that, not much. Let's keep going on the trail. Right there. So this is the way I came from. I'm continuing in that direction, but I just noticed something on the tree. There's arrows pointing in that direction. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I should probably go check it out. I will on my way back. I'll venture a little bit up there into those woods right there. 
but I'm gonna continue down this trail for a second or two. So yeah. Oh, shoelace untied. Perfect. This trail just seems to go on forever and ever and ever, yo. Really isn't letting up. And I haven't seen much on either sides of the trail. So, uh, so far not really anything promising. But keep in mind, guys, after this, I'm going to be, uh, as long as I have enough storage on my uh, cell phone that I'm filming on right now, because I don't have my other camera with me, um, as long as I do have storage space, I'm gonna head over to the Nike control site. And over there I'm gonna film, hopefully I can film a few things over there if I can't find anything over here. So yeah, we'll see what happens. The trail makes a right hand turn right here, that way. Oh, here's a dirt road down here. Oh wow, okay, check this out. It's all filled in, but as you can see there was a ladder going down there at one point in time. Interesting. And like I said, there's some sort of dirt road over here. A lot of debris scattered over there. I don't know what that's what that is or what it's from, but it is what it is. And I continue down the trail even more. See if I can find anything else. I want to find the entrance to that bunker underground. I really don't want to leave here until I find it. It looks like there's a trail over there too. This place is massive. This whole, um, this whole vicinity of the place, the property, the grounds, they're just huge. So it's really tricky to actually find what I'm looking for. If you know what I mean. see some stuff down there. Don't know what it is though. The trail kind of lets out right here as you can see. As you can see like I said, the trail kind of goes in different directions. You can get lost back here everyone. So I'm definitely not looking to do that. Let me walk down here for a quick second. See what's over here. And I'll head back up the trail. So it looks like there's a dirt road that goes in that direction. That's the trail where I just came from. Um, I'm gonna see what's over here real quick. Got a propane bottle. Looks like people have had one or two gnarly fires back here. Bonfires, you know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. I don't know where this leads to. If there's nothing up around after this turn, I'm gonna turn back around. Oh wow, check this out. Found another hole in the ground but it's been filled in here's another one too right here filled in now so that's something right here not sure what it is though Not sure what that is either. Ladies and gentlemen, I found what I came here for. Oh my gosh. Check it out. It's the entrance to that tunnel I think that I was talking about. Oh man. It's pretty far down there. I'm going down there. You already know what time it is. This is going to be tricky though to navigate. So let's do it figure this out here all right so I'm gonna take this step by step right, let's get down there should be wearing a mask but I'm not oh well uh... 
check this out goes way down in there look how dusty it is in here if you could tell probably can't but wow really should have worn a mask oh well let's keep going really shallow ceiling here so gotta watch my head too all right so it just keeps going so i'm gonna keep going down squeezing through these boulders here a little bit tricky but hey i can do it gotta be careful because i'm by myself so if anything happens i'm on my own oh no all right so i'm making it to the bottom now I'm at the bottom so here we are at the bottom of this little tunnel shaft type deal type thing going on here I just crawled down this boulder infested decline as you can see the entrance that I came in is up there maybe 10 15 feet up and then there seems to be a little hole in the ground right here that goes even further down into the abyss Let's see what's in here. Luckily, I have a high-powered flashlight. Oh, wow. It's a big-ass room. I heard that the rooms off of this main room are flooded, but we're going to see. I'm going to head in there right now real quick for y'all. So let's see what we can find. All right, let's go. If I can make it through. Okay, so we're in here. Okay, so we're underground right now. Wow, that's flooded. Really flooded. Another little entrance way right here. I wish I could go in there, but it's flooded like anything. Yo, I might just go anyways and say screw my shoes. I don't know though. Let's see. No, it's way too high. Oh, I want to go down there so bad. I have to, I have to go down there. I don't know if you guys can see, but the tunnel makes a right-handed turn right there. My camera's blurry, hold on. It's all dusty in here. It makes a right-handed turn going that way. I think I should just commit and go in the water. Let's see. It's probably going to be hella cold, but here I go. Into the water. Oh, that's so cold. Holy shit, that's freezing. Yeah, that's brick. It's ice cold. Oh, this is deep. Deeper than I thought, too. I don't think anyone's really ever done this. Whoa, it leads to a whole other room. Look at this, my shot ass. Walking through two feet of water. I'm trying to stay balanced on this board so I don't go down any deeper. Oh shoot, I'm falling. What's around this turn? More tunnels. Wow. I just heard a noise. Yeah, there's no way in hell I can make it down any further. This is the furthest I'm going to go. But, uh, I'll stick my phone around and see what I can see. I don't know. But, wow. Well, wow, my camera's blurry. Let me fix it. In any case, in any case, this tunnel brought me to this empty room right here. I'm not sure if over on this side right here, it hooks a left and goes around. I don't know if there's another tunnel over there, but for now, all you can see is this empty room and like three feet of water that I'm standing in. So let me get out of here real quick and go back to reality. The water is almost up to my pockets and my pants. I'm not that tall. I'm like 5'5". Five five. Pretty short dude. So this wasn't that easy to accomplish, but I did it. I came, I committed, and I got some footage for y'all.
Look at how soaked my pants are, though. That's dry, that's wet. And then that's where we just came from. Back into the main room of the underground bunker tunnel type deal we got going on here. Looks like they filled in a lot of it, or maybe this is how it was, I'm not sure. But, uh... Yeah, we're underground right now, guys. I don't want to fall. Seems like it leads up somewhere. Looks like it went down deep. Wow. Goes down even deeper. Look at this, more tunnel systems. Could be ventilation, I'm not sure. I gotta go up in here, see what's down there. As you can see, the tunnel goes down even deeper into the abyss, so let's find out what's there. Seems like it goes to another room. Let's see if I can squeeze in there real quick. Wow, just a huge drop to another big room. You just entered the seventh gate of hell. Beautiful, it's a way to start a morning. <laughs> As you can see, there's a decline, and uh, it leads into this other room over here, I can see. Which is like a mirror image of the other room. So yeah, nothing much to see here. Except horse porn. That's something you don't see every day. <laughs> so filled with smoke, not smoke, Fucking, uh, excuse my French, filled with uh, dust. It's hard to see on camera. I'm gonna head out right now. So let's see if I can get out of here in one piece. Back down that little whole corridor type thing. Let's get it. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm on the other side again. Here we go, here goes nothing. All right, so I'm basically back on the other side. Just gotta make my way down again. And my shoelace is untied. That's always good, that's a dub. Let's fix it, tuck it in real quick. That's eh, screw it, I'm not bothering. I just wanna get out of here at this point. But yeah, it's pretty cool down here. Glad I found what I came here for, for the most part. So yeah, check up with you guys, or check in with you guys when I'm out of the bunker. Right? Now. All right, so I just made it out from the underground area. Uh, now I'm heading back to the other part of the trail that I came in from. These two pipes look like they could be ventilation for the underground area. Not sure though. There's a few more holes in the ground around me. Like there's one over here, for example. As you can see, right there. And right there, there's something right there. But yeah, but I nailed it, guys. I told you guys from the get-go I wanted to find that underground room. And uh, mission accomplished. You could say that for sure. So I'm a very happy man. Morning well spent so far. Even though I had to walk through three feet of water. Just to see what was around the corner of a tunnel that was uncharted. Hey, that's what happens when you're urban exploring. And when you're doing what you gotta do. 
But anyways, like I said, I'm walking back on the trail that I came in originally on. And uh, yeah, I'll see if, if I see anything on the way out back to my car, I'll let you guys know. But right now I'm going to head over to the, the Nike missile control site. So uh, should be a whole another vibe over there. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so the rain is starting to pick up a little bit. So I'm kind of doing a light mild jog slash sprint back to my whip, back to the car. Hopefully I get there soon. Probably be another minute or two and I should be safe and sound, good to go in the car. See you guys when I get there. What do you mean? <laughs> Almost there. Making great time indeed, indubitably. Almost there. All right, I got winded so I had to slow down for a second. But we're passing those fence posts or whatever they are that we pass on the way in to the trail. The car should be coming up any minute over here soon. And after all that running, there she is, sitting pretty. Finally back to the car for the most part. Couldn't be happier. All right, everyone, so I'm back in the car right now, drying off and whatnot. But I just realized I have no cell phone um, reception right now. So I gotta go back down the road instead of going the way I wanted to continue to go to the control site. I have to go back, backtrack, and try to get some data, not data, but some reception so that I can initiate my GPS and go from there. So uh, I'll catch back up with you guys when I get uh, some uh, reception. Hopefully that's sooner than later. All right, y'all, so I managed to get cell phone reception, which is golden, we're good to go, for, the, for now at least. And uh, I'm heading to the Nike control site right now. We, we're just at the Nike launch site. Now we're heading to the control site. So let's get it. So right now I just pulled up to the outskirts of the Nike control site um, down the road from the launch site that I was just at. And um, unfortunately I think it's kind of, it's going to be private property that I have to go on for a brief period of time to walk on to get to the Nike control site itself. Um, and it's, I'm not going the way the GPS told me to go because if I did that I'd have to walk through a hell of a lot of woods. So um, to beat the woods and not have to go through them I'm going this way. So just pray I don't get caught and prosecuted. Oh my god, where to me? I think everything should go well. It's a Sunday morning. People have better things to do. Probably be sleeping. Like I would be doing if I was a normal human being, but hey, one of a kind. <laughs> That's right. Somebody. Come on now. But in any case, if this spot that I just pulled up to, I have to go on foot anyways from here, but if it doesn't lead me to the actual Nike control site, um, I'm gonna have to come back to my car and drive the way the GPS wanted me to go and then if I'm up for it go through the woods and hike until I can find it myself um, and I don't know if the way I'm going right now is gonna lead me to the whole accessible site I don't know if it's just gonna lead me to bits and pieces of the control site and not the whole thing we're gonna find out firsthand so let's get it right now so I gotta go through this fence let's get it Looks like there's some smoke coming out of a chimney over there, so I don't know if people are actually here right now. Looks like there's a car or two over there. I gotta be careful not to be seen while I'm out in the open right now. But yeah, oh, it's starting to pour too. We gotta get there quick. Let's try to speed walk here. All right, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm a little bit further down the path. As you can see, I got quite a ways to go. It's just one step at a time, folks. One step at a time, all it is.
All right, so I'm getting closer. I'm out of breath. My bad. Getting closer and closer to the end of this trail, path, driveway thing that I'm walking on right now. I see something up in the distance. Looks like a building. Hopefully this brought me to the control site and not some bunk other location. We're gonna see any second though. Almost there. There's that building I was talking about coming up. As you can see, that white building. I don't know what else is over here though, so we're about to find out right now. So I'm really not sure what I'm walking up to right now. Your guess is probably as good as mine as to whether this is part of the old Nike, uh, Nike missile control site or whether it's not. But uh, pretty much there right now. I'm coming up to this gate type fence type thing. And uh, there seems to be this big white tower type thing in the center. Wonder what it is. I don't see any launch pads, if that's what you even call them, from the control site. But that's what I do see. It's gated off and I'm not gonna cross the gate. You might say, oh, all that walking just for this. But yeah, I had no idea what to expect for the most part. But there you have it. It's pretty much it right now. Here's to tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk back to my car and uh, just wanna throw it out there that my phone just ran out of storage so I had to delete a few things in my uh, library, my photo library. So I gotta be cautious of my time filming, to make it useful. In any case, heading back to my car right now and uh, I'm gonna try to make the most of the storage that I have left in my phone to film and drive down the dirt road again towards the entrance my GPS wanted me to take to get to the Nike control site and see what else I could find. So when I get back to the car, or get closer to the car, I'll catch back up with you guys in a second. All right, stay tuned. About <coughs> Excuse me, about to be there. And truth be told, I feel a whole lot better when I get back to my car and off this private property per se. Oh, so you know what time it is. All right, everyone, so I just made it back to the whip, to the car, and uh, now I'm gonna follow the GPS the way it wanted me to go originally to the Nike control site, uh, missile control site. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to walk through more woods or what, but we'll see when we get there. So let's get it. I'm getting really tired, didn't sleep much last night, so I'm gonna try to get the most out of this little bit of time left I have to film. Let's do this. So now I'm back and going and driving down the pothole infested road to get me and bring me to the actual control site itself. I just looked online and I saw a couple pictures and that, uh, the excuse me, the place that I was just at, oh, that's a big pothole, that's a dub. The place that I was just at with that white silo type looking thing in that white building, um, that's actually part of the control site based on the pictures that I saw on the internet. Um, and then I saw some other like buildings made of concrete that had graffiti on them so I don't know if that's located in the woods those types of buildings um, or the structures but I'm gonna find out when I get to the outskirts of the control site so yeah we're on our way there now and if it's nothing much I'm gonna head back and head out of here because it's been a long morning already but let's see what else we can get for you guys if anything So the GPS wants me to take this left right here onto that road, but there's a yellow fence over there and online it said that each yellow fence at each location would be the start of getting onto the grounds themselves. So I don't know if that's the entrance to the control site or not, but I'm gonna follow the GPS and then if it's not, I'm not gonna bother coming back to check that out later because I already did quite a lot of exploration today, so I'm assuming it's just gonna bring me to the proper place because it is the GPS we're talking about, so let's see what happens. All right, so I just pulled up to where the GPS led me to and brought me, and I pulled up to a yellow fence, or a yellow gate, rather, 
and uh, I'm gonna head out on foot briefly since I don't have that much storage space on my phone yet. Uh, you left to film. I'm gonna make this as quick and thorough as possible. So let's get it. So here we are. So, so far I haven't seen anything like any man-made structures yet or anything like that, but we're going to continue on this path for a little bit and see what I can find, if anything. There was a path when I first came in that went the other way into the woods a little bit, so I could try and check that out if I have time to on my way out. So yeah, let's get it, as I always say. Just got to keep my eyes open. See what I can see. So there's some sort of concrete little structure. I don't know if it's man-made or what, but it looks like it is. The path splits in three ways, if I'm not mistaken here. Oh no, maybe just two, three, but whatever. In any case, haven't really seen anything yet. So I'm probably gonna turn around and go walk the trail that I came in on and go the other way that I could have taken. So let's see what I can find for the second right now. If I don't find anything in the next minute or two, I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. I just came upon something. A bunch of concrete cinder blocks. Not sure what it was for, but it's something all right. I also want to be careful not to get lost because these woods are pretty dense, not going to lie. So it looks like I'm coming up to something right here. Like I've been saying, I'm not sure quite what it is, but oh wow, look at this. Look at this structure right here. Some graffiti on it. Very nice. Look at this thing right here guys, that's neat. Whatever it is. Drop a comment down below if you know exactly what this thing is and what it was used for. Please do, I'd appreciate it. Well, that's flooded, filled in too. Still, that's pretty neat guys, this structure right here. This is actually something that I saw I was taken as a picture online. So I did make it to where I wanted to be when all is said and done. It's pretty neat actually. There's a lot of carvings in the side of this wall right here of the structure and some cool graffiti as well. So yeah, looks like at one point in time there was a ladder as you can see. Probably went up, yeah, right here to the top and so on. All right, so I was about to start heading back to the car, but there's a there's a problem. I don't know which way I came in from. This isn't good. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh Lord, please be right about this way being the right way. Or to me. I'm really not too sure if I just took the right way to get back to my car. I think I did though, luckily. Yeah, I think I should be straight for the most part. Walking through the forest. Da -na 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 -na. You know what time it is. Adventure time, mofos. Excuse me, but you know what time it is. Come on now. Come on, somebody. Why don't slip down this little hill right here? Uh oh, here we go. Oh, there. Yep, almost did. That was almost a dub. Oh shit, almost did it again. Or to me, that was tricky. Alright y'all, so I'm almost back at my whip at my car. 
and uh, this is the time of the video this part of the video I just wanted to thank you all for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it for real for real really do um, got some really good footage for the most part and uh, I couldn't be happier when all is said and done you guys are too real for real but yeah thanks for watching and um, if you like this video make sure you drop a like down below um, drop a comment down below let me know if you've ever taken the adventure taking the journey to Nike missile site in Connecticut and your experience and how you had your go abouts with it and everything that happened when you went exploring here so on and so forth I'd love to hear about your adventures um, and some feedback just in general in the comments below would definitely be appreciated I love feedback everyone just know that keep that in mind if you haven't already subscribed for more awesome content make sure you smash that subscribe button guys come on now you know what time it is for real for real and uh, stay tuned for more content to come by smashing that subscribe button you know what it is Ooh, hit my head on a tree Dub. Dab. so yeah that pretty much concludes this video when all is said and done I'll say it again this was a pretty solid edit pretty solid video I'm back at the car now about to head home about to lay down when I get home rest these legs these wet legs got soaked in that underground tunnel passage but uh, that's another story and uh, anyways guys Thanks for watching one more time. I appreciate it. Thanks again. And uh, until next time, guys, cheers and ciao as always. Peace. Deuces. Be easy, y'all. For real. Catch y'all soon.